Hey everyone, it's Allie from Titan here again, and today I am going to be showing off my Star Wars collection. As promised in the last video, I do have quite the extensive collection of Star Wars cards, and I have been, so far, keeping them in these nifty boxes. Let me show you right here. They are the boxes, and let me show you another size as well. These are normally, these came out of a special collection, but these are normally what Magic and Pokemon cards come in. They're called, um... Elite Trainer Boxes, and for the Magic ones, they're called Fat Packs. And these, they're just, they fit very nicely. They store magnetics pretty well, but I am getting a bit tired of having them all over my house, so I figured today I would kill two birds with one stone and go through and show you guys my collection while also sorting them into a nifty 3,000 count box. Or two, I have two here, just in case one's not enough. I do have a lot of cards, but, um... Yeah, so let's put me in the corner, and let's get started. All right, so first box. I tend to collect a lot of sketch. Oops, knock something over over here. A lot of sketches as well as printing plates. Those are my favorite things to collect, and I do have them kind of sorted. I believe I have one of ones through cards like a one out of five or out of ten. I have, I think I have them sorted in like descending order that way. But let me just go through right quick. And show you on my nice nifty Titus and Yuna Final Fantasy play mat all my different cards. But we'll go through this one. This one I actually still have in a team bag just to keep it extra safe. But this is from Chrome Perspectives. This is a magenta autographed uh, Carrie Fisher printing plate. I remember this is actually one of the first cards that I ever spent a lot of money on. And I actually, back then it was a lot for me. But now looking at prices of Carrie Fisher autographs, I think this is probably pretty expensive by now. But, I don't know, just something I really like. Like I said, I like plates. I like Carrie Fisher. It's kind of a win for me. This plate, I actually have two out of the four plates. It's the Anakin Revenge of the Sith plate from uh, one of the more recent Galactic File sets. Yep, 2017 Galactic Files Reborn. I have both of those. Still missing two. These are some of my favorite plates that I have. These are out of Masterwork 2017. I have the Anakin and the Padme ones. Not matching colors, but, I mean, these are hard to get as it is, especially out of Masterwork. So I have the Anakin and the Padme. I also have Director Krennic and Agent Catalyst. This, I remember, I lost the auction for the black plate. I was very upset about that. And actually, this plate is one of the more expensive plates. This this plate, I paid more I paid more for the Callus than I paid for the Padme. At this point, when this auction went, this was one of the most expensive Masterwork plates. I guess it was just me and uh, one other Callus fan out there. We're just they want, we wanted these plates, and we were willing to spend a lot. So I managed to get the second one. They got the first one, the black one. I've seen the yellow one auctioned as well. I am not certain where the magenta one is, if it's even been pulled could be out there in a sealed box of Masterwork 2017 somewhere. This this plate is really hard to see. It's actually ports, but it's yellow, so it's not very clear. More ports. Kylo. Han Solo. I actually enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really fun. Ooh, it looks like the plate is sliding out of the magnetic a bit there. That's strange. But I actually really enjoyed the Solo movie. I thought it was fun. I wasn't actually a person that particularly cared for Han Solo. When they announced the movie, I was like, who asked for this? But I actually really enjoyed it. This one, I also have two of the colors as well. The magenta and the black printing plate. No, oh, I thought it was fun. I know people, some people have problems with the past few Star Wars movies that come out, but I've actually enjoyed them all. That was fun. It's one of those things where, you know, you know, you don't like it. Maybe you don't like everything, but you still enjoy it. It's Star Wars. It's fun. You know, if you don't like the movies, there's always other things you can follow along with, like books, comics, video games. You may have noticed by now there's a lot of prequel cards in my collection. I'm going to get a lot of maybe flack for this. Please keep the comments respectful. My favorite Star Wars movies is Attack the Clones. Yes, please roast me in the comments. Thank you. As long as it's nice. Please don't be mean. But I don't know. That was the first movie I saw when I was younger. I remember that year for Christmas when it came out. That was the number thing I, number one thing I wanted. I was like, Mom, please buy me Attack the Clones for VHS. That's what I want. That's what I want. And I got it, and I was very pleased. Battle droids. I love battle droids, by the way. I also have a decent amount of battle droids in my collection, as you will see as we go through. 
I should be flipping all of these over so you can see the artist, but I haven't been. I've been slacking. Also been too distracted by telling you about my love for Attack of the Clones. But I do. I do I do like that movie. Even though I know it's not actually a great movie, I enjoy watching it. <clears throat> see, this artist is Carlos Caballero, and he's actually one of my favorite artists. I will be putting links down in the description below for you to check out his website and his Instagram. I just, I really love his art. From the first time I saw one of his cards, back when I, I first started collecting, actually when Masterwork 2017 came out, and when I first saw his cards, I was like, those are beautiful, that's what I want. And it took me a bit of a while in my collection before I was able to start getting, done with the first box, start getting some of his cards, but now I have a decent, actual decent amount of his cards in my collection, and I just, I love them, I think they're wonderful. Everything Carlos does is great. And speaking of great, this has got to be one of the best, if not the best, things in my collection. Wedding Pad Bay. Absolutely beautiful sketch. Let me get up a bit close to the camera so you can see it. Absolutely stunning. Let me take it out of the case for you. When I won this on auction, I almost cried. I was so happy. It's so beautiful. It's real. It's like I'm holding Natalie Portman in my hand. It's, I can't, it's so beautiful. I'm just gonna actually, let me find out where I put her in the box. Okay, so right after the K2 and before the Tuscan Raider, I'm gonna leave her right here in the corner so you can see her. Padme will lurk. Right. Cute little Tuscan Raider by Ward Silverman. I've actually, when I've been opening packs, sometimes I guess because maybe, because it's the paint, the oil paints, but um, I've had, I've opened packs I think it was both in Galaxy from 2018, but Ingrid Hardy sketches and Ward Silverman sketches tend to get stuck to other sketches. So I've gotten two sketches and two packs before where they've been stuck together. Thankfully, none of them were ruined. But still, I think that is kind of interesting. Oh, the battle droids are starting to come in. Like I said, I do have a decent amount of battle droids. I love them. I don't know why. I just do. Probably has to do with Attack of the Clones being one of my, being my favorite Star Wars movie. But um, I just think they're great. They're neat. Roger, Roger. But yeah. Oh, we're coming up on another Carlos card here. This is Kylo Ren the, from the throne, Snoke's throne room in The Last Jedi. Which, I mean, I don't mind the film. I feel like the more I watch it, the less I like it. But I still enjoy it as a Star Wars movie. You know, if there's things you don't like about it, you can... You know, you're free to not like it, but I don't know. Everyone has their own opinions, which is fine. But once you start being mean and degrading others for their opinions on certain things, that's when it gets to be an issue. You know, you're just free to like and dislike and not like certain Star Wars aspects, and that's fine. But, I don't know. Last Jedi gave me porgs. Excellent. Let me know what your favorite Star Wars film is in the comments down below. I'm curious to see. Because I feel like, and a lot of people say, oh, Empire is my favorite, Empire is my favorite. And then people my age are like, oh, Revenge of the Sith is my favorite. And then there's people that have gotten into Star Wars recently and they're like, oh, Rogue One is my favorite. But you know, I'm, I'm curious to see. You know, everyone has what they like and why. Let me see if this fits. This is another Carlos card. This is actually a triple puzzle of Ahsoka. I'm worried it doesn't all fit. I'm gonna lay them next to each other, cover up Yuna's face here on the playmat. But it's just like the whole story of Ahsoka. And Ahsoka and Rebels, you know, Ahsoka post Rebels, Ahsoka and Rebels, Ahsoka and Clone Wars. Actually, Ahsoka is what got me back into Star Wars back in uh, 2017. I remember when I was younger and Clone Wars was showing on TV, I didn't get to watch all the episodes. I remember when season one was airing, I was still in like uh, elementary school. So I, you know, I remember watching at seven o'clock, but sometimes, you know, just about time for bed, you know, or I have things to do and it's, I didn't manage to keep up with it. But, um, <clears throat> it was actually, I actually ended up seeing a Funko Pop of Ahsoka from Rebels and a Hot Topic. And I was like, Ahsoka's back. And I had to figure out all about what was going on. Like what, why, what's Ahsoka? She looks different. She's older. What's going on? And that's how I actually got into Star Wars Rebels. And 
that actually really jump started me collecting Star Wars again. Because I was like, oh my god, it's Ahsoka. So. Some more Padme. No, let me bring Padme. Let's hope she's in frame still. This next piece I have is by, I believe, yep, Kevin B. Cleveland. It's actually half of a puzzle. I've never seen the other half. If you have seen the other half, or if you have it, and you're willing to sell it, please let me know. I hate just having one half the puzzle of the Mortis Gods, from Rebels. Great episode. But, um, yeah, see, two of two, it's half the puzzle. So if you've seen number one of two of this card, please let me know. I would love to complete this puzzle that I have here. Max Rebo. I'm not really like a Star Wars like kind of alien person, but I thought that sketch was too cute not to get, so I have it. <laughs> Even though I'm not like, you know, basically all I know about Max Rebo is his name, that's it. So, this is a, there's always a joke on who, who is this artist? Can't figure out who this is. This is Robert Taranashi, for anyone wondering. How whoever figured that out? No idea. Maybe the artist himself said, hey, that's me. And then you just have to take his word for it, because I mean, I can't read that, but... I don't know. Good memes. Always ask, who is this sketch? It's Robert Teradash. More battle droids. Now this is a beautiful sketch. This is by John Arton. I believe he's a tattoo artist. This is General Grievous. Looks so lifelike. Very amazing. Let me raise that up for you. I love that. I remember I had actually seen that on, I believe it was his Instagram post. He posted all, or... Maybe it was Facebook, but he posted scans of all his cards he did for that set, and I was like, I hope I can get that one day. And I actually managed to find it. I managed to buy it off somebody in actually the Facebook group that I'm in for Star Wars. Top Star Wars Collectible Card Traders, I believe is the name. It's a fun group. There's people do like live breaks and trading and selling and all different kinds of stuff in there. It's fun. I recommend you check it out, but make sure you follow the rules as always, because it's a very nice environment. We want to keep it that way. Box number two is done. We have ten more boxes, so bear with me. We're going to keep going. This is why I said I'm tired of having this stuff all over my house. I just want it in one spot. So hopefully one row is nearly full on the 3,000 count box. So I think we will need two. Hopefully we don't need three, because I didn't make three. So if not, I'll just keep stacking them up and I'll put them in after. But here we go. Starting off with some ports. Nice. I'm curious to hear which is your favorite sketch of mine that you guys have seen in this video. Or if there's, you'd like me to go over it again slower, you want me to break it up into... I don't know, please don't make me pick which ones are my favorite, but maybe... I don't know, if you want me to go over any of these again, just let me know. I can post pictures of them maybe on our store Instagram if you're curious to see. Speaking of our store Instagram, we have a store Instagram, store Facebook, store Twitter, store website, store eBay store, store TCG Player store. All those links are in the description. We'd really appreciate it if you go check it out. I made the website myself, so please take a look just for that reason. Make me feel good about myself. I need it. I crave attention. But, uh, more battle juice. This next one, I bought this one on eBay, and it came in this holder, and I just left it there, because it is Anakin's rookie card. Attack the Clones, he is a rookie. That was a Chris Pennick sketch, very nice. Very talented artist. He's doing, currently, the Topps Living Set. Every week, there are two cards drawn by him, and you can get, like, it's in the classic Star Wars, um, like the old set, the classic border. And two cards come out every week. And then also, he has an eBay store, which he sometimes gets to sell the original like sketch proofs that he makes for those cards the most recent one that i remember was the uh, baby yoda one that was like, really expensive but normally when you think about like what they are they don't go for that much around a hundred dollars a piece i think that's pretty fair we got the de preliminary design for the card i think that's just really cool to have i personally don't have any but hopefully if he ever sells the padme ones or you know if he does a battle joint i'm gonna lose my mind but, um, I don't know, I think that'd just be cool to have. Cool to look at. Cool to experience. Battle droids. 
This was really cool. I really like this about this set. The Chrome Legacy set, as you will see later on, I have way too many Chrome cards as I'm trying way too many rainbows. Don't judge me. I love Padme. But um, the die cuts were in the shape of Porgs. So I have Porg on Porg. Next one is also Porg on Porg. Very lovely cards. Patrick Davis here, and then Anil Sharma, Space Hindu, with some wonderful Porgs. He's eating the chair. I love it. I know people were actually upset about this, or at least some people that I saw maybe is a vocal minority. I don't know. But we're upset that the Porgs were eating the Falcon, that it was disrespectful to Han ship. And it's like, yeah, I get it, but Porgs? I love Porgs. Very beautiful Hoi Trong sketch. Anakin, Padme in the arena. Oh, look, more Anakin. What a surprise. Can you guys tell that I like Anakin yet? More Carlos. More Carlos. Oops. Oh, no. That's why these are in magnetics, folks. Wonderful Carlos art. What a surprise. More Anakin. But this time, I actually have a Padme to go with it. Can you not? Please fall over. Thank you. Wonderful. It's a pair of Hoi Chong sketches. Chrome Legacy. I think, I, I thought last year Masterwork was going to be my favorite set because I always tend to like Masterwork. I was a little upset with Masterwork 2018. I didn't really like the designs of the cards. Even the base cards I wasn't really a fan of in the 2018 set. I feel like they look like the Artifacts Hockey set, which I like for hockey, but I don't feel like it fit well for Star Wars. I didn't, even on the sketch cards, I wasn't too crazy about the border. Actually here, I actually commissioned this piece. This is... Um, I based this half on uh, when Callus and Zeb were on... Oh jeez, I'm forgetting the name. The Ice Moon. On Bahrain. I remember it. To match, because we had pulled this one in shop. In Titan, because we opened so many Star Wars products. Which, we get a lot of really cool stuff, but I also... Because I like Star Wars, I get first dibs, so... I mean, whatever you see, we list. This is, I've already picked through it. Not that there's not good stuff there, but... You know, I opened it, I... Okay, but... Anyway, so I wanted them to match. I thought this would be cool. So it was wonderful. Rich Molinelli, I contacted him. I was like, hey, you have you have blanks? And he's like, yeah. I was like, can I have a callus, please? And he was able to do that for me. Much appreciative. Super battle droid. Not the correct kind of battle droid, but I thought it was cute anyways. Here we go. Correct battle droid. With an extra battle droid. Two for one. Nick Alsop. Got a beautiful pair of Hera sketches from Matthew Hurons. I believe these were the two he did of Hera for the set. One thing that's really cool about the Star Wars group on Facebook that I mentioned earlier, the Topped Collectible Card Traders, is uh, a lot of the artists are in a group. So there's a thread for every sketch, uh, or sorry, every set that comes out, like a sketch fest. And they get the they post scans of all their different art they did for the set. So you get to really see like what's out there, what you could possibly hit, or things do you want to keep an eye out for. It's really great. I remember seeing those two Hera sketches and be like, those colors just pop so well. And then I managed to get them both. I thought that was great. And this is another piece that I commissioned. This is from Carlos Caballero again. This is the Season 3 Rebels finale when Thrawn catches Callus in Ezra's old tower. And I just think it turned out very well. It just looks very ominous. Thrawn looks great. Callus looks great. Couldn't ask for more. Alright, we're done with box number three. These Pokemon boxes actually came out of a Shining Legends collection. They're a bit bigger than the regular size boxes, so it might go a little bit faster from here. I am going to keep them. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I am going to keep them. Oh wait, this is the next box. I am going to keep them, just like I'm keeping this Padme right here. So... We're almost done with my sketch collection. Very cute Ingrid Hardy Star Destroyer. And then I believe we're getting into... I have a few one-on-ones. Actually, that's not particularly true. I have a lot of one-on-ones out of Chrome, but they are not in this section because I'm going to try and pull out what I'm trying to rainbow and put that in its own little section so I can easily get to it. And... Hmm, I think that might be a better way to have my stuff organized than I have it instead of digging through. Because as you'll see, I have actually, out of Star Wars Finest, I have the Callus 101, and I also have, I don't have the red, so if you know where the red is, please contact me. But I have two of the blacks, so currently I have a section with my 101s, and the Callus 101 is there. And then the blacks are in the out of 10 section, and it's kind of, it's like, why don't I just put them together? Especially since I have the orange down. 
Oh, there's the orange ones. Why, why, orange, gold, green, blue, refractor in the base card, I think is what Finest had. Very nice Kira, Andrew Fry. I'm just, I was thinking to myself earlier today, I was like, why, why don't I just put all this stuff together? This is very frustrating. Excellent Kylo Ren puzzle by, again, Carlos. Very wonderful. From the brand new set, Rise of Skywalker Series 1. Also from that set, the wonderful Dio. I've fallen in love with Dio very easily. He said, no, thank you. And I was like, no, please, please, I love you. So I've been trying to collect a lot of Dio cards. It's not going as well as I'd hope, but you know, it's going. This isn't Star Wars, but it's also done by Carlos. It's actually, I have a few things from this set here, and then also at the end of my boxes from the CZX Cryptozoic uh, Superheroes and Supervillains, the DC set that just recently came out. I commissioned this beautiful Scarecrow Jonathan Crane sketch. I love it. Please take a quick look. Zoom in a bit for you. Excellent. Do one right here too. Look at him. So beautiful. Wonderful. Stunning. Beautiful. One of one. Amazing. Can't hype up Carlos's art enough, guys. Seriously. Definitely check him out. Keep the Wonder Woman. Then, uh, two more Scarecrow sketches. Alright, so we had a little detour from Star Wars, but now we're back. I've got this. Archives. Let me take this out real quick. I keep the archives, and also I have a couple of stellar autographs. I keep them in team bags just because... I mean, it's cool that they come in magnetics, but then they're sealed. So, I mean, you can't really open it. Otherwise, it's like, oh, it's not an archives. But this is an autograph. Hayden Christensen, one of one. But um, if the, you scratch the case, it's kind of... You can't really do anything about it. So I try to prevent that from happening. I just keep them in team bags. So my box sometimes makes weird crinkling noises. Because there's some cards in team bags. But, you know, I don't know what else to do. If anyone has a better suggestion, let me know. In the comments below. Alright, here is the Callus Finest Superfractor I was mentioning earlier. I'm actually going to keep that out since I will be moving it to another section. Put him up there with Padme. Two beautiful people right here. Let's do another archives. This is actually a Christmas present for my boss, I believe, last year. So, Finn number three. It's cool. I like John Boyega. I think I actually liked his like character. Is it weird to say character design, but just his look he had in the in the Rise of Skywalker compared. I think his compared to like the Last Jedi and the Force Awakens. I just think I don't know. I think his hair suited him a lot better. I think he looked really cool. All right, here, I don't know if this is considered mean of me to do, but I bought one of these and then I found another one for the same price, so I bought it. And then I also recently found another one for the same price, so I paid the same price for all three of these. So I have three out of the five. Finest Red Refractor Battle Droids. Maybe it's just because I'm a battle droid loving degenerate, but I just think it's cool. I have three out of five in the world. Don't have a super. Know where it is, please. I love you forever. Please let me know. But actually, I'm going to move my battle droids together too, so I'm going to leave those out. Hopefully not that crowding. Let me push them up. Let me check. This is out of Empire Strikes Back, black and white. This is it orange? I believe out of five was orange. Very nice. Box. Put that on the floor. Let's see. Oh, there's some finest here too. Another orange Leia. Pretty cool. I remember when I was younger, Empire, I guess, used to be. I don't know, one of my favorites? I Honestly, until I've rewatched the Star Wars movies recently, I couldn't remember much about Empire. I couldn't even remember it was the one that I liked. I just remember going into Blockbuster when I was younger. Be like, Mom, I want to rent the one with Luke in the snow. I don't know. That, that was like my description of Empire. Like, I forgot about literally everything else in the movie. Just like, Mommy, I want to see the one with Luke in the snow. So. It's cool. Gold Auto, Yin Yang, Gold Auto, Ahsoka, also out of the same set. Oh, look, another Gold Auto, Ahsoka. Very nice. 10 of 10, that one's cool. It's really cool. This one actually is a shared card between me and my mom because I like Rebels and she really likes Doctor Who. Not that I don't like Doctor Who, but she likes Doctor Who more than I do. 
That's cool. Fourth Doctor, Tom Baker on wood. That's one of my cool things. One of my favorite things I like about Masterwork is the wood cards. I think they're just really neat. It's kind of weird, but neat. These are my two Stellar cards that I own. I thought it was cool. From Stellar 1 back in 2017. The Purple Parallels out of 10. Matt Lanter and James Arnold Taylor for the animated Anakin and Obi-Wan, respectively. Some gold cards. Come on. Han Solo. Gold Parallels. Just think these are neat. Yeah, so my let me see, 29 and 36. Alright. So I've attempted to have my box sorted, or my cards sorted, in order, like, yeah, like one out of one, out of five, out of ten, so forth, so on and so forth. But then also like annually by when the sets come out. I'm sure there's probably some sketches mixed around, maybe if I didn't get like the right, like whether it's Rogue One, Series 1, or Series 2, stuff like that, where it doesn't actually say on the back which which one it is. It was just like, you kind of have to guess based on the scene if it was like, they would have seen that from trailers, or from watching the movie. So it's just kind of guesswork, but I don't know, I like the way my box is. I feel like it's like, oh, I know where everything is, sort of. And then when I'm looking for something, I get to take a tour through everything else I own. So it's a win-win. More masterwork. More wood. Very cool. I got that recently. Really nice. So now we're hitting the finest. Black chopper. I like finest. I feel like some of the cards in finest are really nice, and then some of them weren't very nice. Very weird mix. But I think overall it's really cool. I like the different colors. And I think... Any of the concerns they have with Finest, where some of the stuff looked a little weird. Like some of the just solo characters standing by themselves. Like, I like the Padme card out of this set, but I feel like she looks a little awkward just kind of standing like... I don't know. It's very nice. I don't own the Super for that, unfortunately. Hopefully it is in a good home, but I don't have it. It's not mine. Put the calluses together. I have one-fifth of the ones of these in the Very nice. Um, just cool lightsaber hilt. I thought these medallions were really cool. I think a lot of people had a positive reactions to them. They're just they're pretty heavy too. I actually I really like the ones out of Chrome as well, Chrome Legacy from 2019. But the problem with the Chrome ones is they do not fit in 180 point magnetics. They're like a slightly too big. So that's a bit frustrating because I don't have any of the big magnetics. So. I just have to make do. I actually have a few of them over here. I'm going to be sorting them in. Nice chopper. Black chopper. Is that the same picture? Probably is fine. So that you can squeeze them into the um, 180 point top loaders if you're careful. But they don't fit in magnetics. The magnetics will not close. What? Excuse me, one moment. <coughs> Florida's filled with pollen because there is just grass everywhere. Oh, I have a bit of allergies. Hopefully I didn't gross you out too much with my cough. Next box. It's more black and white. Next black and white set. Uh, Return of the Jedi comes out, I believe, in... Not next week, but the week after, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm excited for that. I just love opening that set. And you'll be able to watch me open at least a case here on the channel. Unless I'm mistaken. My boss will correct me if I'm not, and I'll add like a little annotation to the video, but should be opening at least a case of black and white, and you'll be able to watch it with me. So, cool experience. I love the pictures on Chrome. I think they look really good. The only problem is, if I read the backs of the cards too much, I end up seeing errors. Like typos, or just things that are not correct. Like... Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn and his apprentice Anakin Skywalker on one of the Phantom Menace cards. Like, that's not that, that's not what happened. Or on the death, uh, death of Padme card, card number 74, Padme Amidala's goodbye. It says, Leia gave birth to twins Luke and Leia. And it's like, no, that's not. If I just don't look at it, it doesn't bother me. So... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I expect too much from tops, but I don't know. Cards are beautiful. I think that's what really matters. We obviously know what the cards are supposed to say. I love the poster cards in black. Some of the other parallels, I think, I don't know. 
Like the red ones, obviously, out of five, or a bit more. But I'm not. I don't like the way those look as much as the black ones. These are the only ones I have. These are really only the ones that I want. But just this. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. They just look so good in black. I think it'd be awesome actually to collect the whole black set for the set. But I don't have that kind of money. Even though it looks like I do, I don't. I promise. There's a lot of hard work and being quick on eBay, checking stuff out, wheeling and dealing with friends, just getting the grind in. Like I said earlier, I think the wood cards are cool, kind of weird, pretty neat, I like them. Looks like now we're going to be getting into probably still some parallels, yeah I see a parallel or two, but a lot of autographs, which I'm not a big autograph collector, I just get the ones that I think are neat, but... I mean, you saw some of my autographs earlier, some lower numbered ones, but I just pick up what I think's neat. But I tend to really gravitate more towards sketches and plates. I don't know, I just like the fact that they're one on one. I, I like the fact that holding a card that, like, wow, this, this made all the other cards. I just think that's really cool. Or in the sketches, it's like, wow, somebody took their time and drew this on a card. I just think that's awesome. And just, I don't know. I'm one of those weird kids that when I was younger I was like, I want to go to the art museum. Nothing wrong with that, but just wasn't typical for like between me and my friends. I was kind of the nerdy kid, whatever. I think I'm cool. I don't know. Comment in the description you think I'm cool or not. I'm cool, please, please, please say I'm cool. But um Yeah, I just oh that's not twenty-five. Nice. I like the gold cards in a master. I really love Masterwork 2017. I'd love to open Master Rick 2017 on the channel. I've actually, I, well, that makes it sound like I've tried hard, but I did look recently on eBay trying to find, like, you know, if there's even a box. All I found was I found mini boxes, two mini boxes. One was at auction, one's a fixed price. And it's like, you know, those mini boxes have the medallions in them, which are cool, but I mean, yes, technically, maybe you could find a plate or a 101 in the pack, but like, probably not. I don't think it's worth the money to buy it, but I will keep an eye out. Maybe if I do see a box, I'll be able to buy it and open it up and let you guys experience with me some good old Masterwork 2017. If there's any other product that you think would be cool Star Wars wise for me to open, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys are interested in taking a look at. You know, I'm opening for me because it's fun, but... I also want to do stuff that you guys want to watch. Like, it's no fun if it's just me sitting in the corner by myself being like, look at my cards! And everyone's like, go away. We don't want to see it. And it's like, mm. But, um... Oh, wow, more battle droids. What a surprise. These are really cool inserts, though. This is before I started collecting, so... This is when they had high-tech. They haven't done high-tech, I think, in a couple of years now. Which, I mean, the high-tech cards are cool, but... I don't know, when I look at pictures of high-tech, I'm always like, what year is this? Because they all kind of look the same. But the inserts, the inserts are cool, definitely. Ooh, that one's number one out of 50. But, let me just do a quick check, make sure the camera's still recording. It's not! Oh, no! Hold on, let me take a break, and let me see where the camera left off, and I'll be right back. Alright, so, I'm not sure where it cut off. It looks like it was at the 27 minute mark, so... Probably just some of these autographs. I'll just flay them out for you real quick, just in case. Not sure what was missed, but... <coughs> Excuse me. But... <coughs> Hopefully... Let me make sure you guys can still see them. Alright, let me just keep going. Hopefully that doesn't happen very often. That would be horrible. We're in the middle of something and it's like, oh, the camera's gone. So let me check, make sure it's still going. Yep, it looks still good. So we'll continue where we left off on some wood master 2017. So you'll still be able to listen to my uh, lovely voice in those minutes. Although unfortunately there will not be video for that. I mean, there'll still be me. You can see me, hello. But Unfortunately, the overhead camera decided it did not want to keep going. Maybe, maybe it'd be good for me. Oh, well, archives. Maybe good for me to put like some kind of mirror up top so I can recognize when it's not recording anymore. 
just in case stuff like that happens to be able to check. Now I'm paranoid and I'm going to want to check every like five seconds. Not sure why I put this in a case, probably just because it's cool. It's only going to be that I know. But. I don't know, my collection, I get to do what I want, I guess. Even if it's questionable. And it's like, why are you putting a 99 cent card in a magnetic? It's like, but I like it. So. More Ahsoka. Wonderful Ahsoka. I know there's a lot of Ahsoka collectors out there, and it's like, I can't blame you. Ahsoka's awesome. I mean, I have a lot of Ahsoka stuff, but... <coughs> Excuse me. But... <coughs> Padme is my main girl. Excuse me, let me get some water real quick. And, of course, the camera is off again. I think, actually, what I'm going to do from now on is I'm just going to show you directly... So, you don't have to worry about that anymore, since we're getting into more just plain autograph territory. But I'm sorry about that. I will try and figure out what's wrong with that. But, oh, I, of course I defaulted to put it like this. But, here. Nice little Lieutenant Mitaka autograph, who wasn't really popular in the movie, like, as a character in the movie, but popular in Tumblr, it's cool. But, um, make sure, yep. Sorry, I'm just looking and there's a monitor over there that because I have to set up with a webcam. So I'm just taking over there to make sure I'm holding it in center. But I think I've got a hand of it now. I'll just show you like that. Perhaps it's because it's such a long video. It did record for 27 minutes. And then start recording again, but oh, maybe it needs new batteries. It is actually the camera that I'm using is an old camera. I dug it out of my room. I remember it was all the rage when I was in about fourth grade. It was one of those little flip video cameras, little camcorders. Which actually, for being how old it is, it records in surprisingly a good quality. So. Okay, I mean, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It works. And with this box number seven, we've actually filled up the first 3,000 cap box. And I'm actually going to put Padme away, just so I don't lose where she's supposed to go. Although, I do have another amazing Padme I will show you later. If you saw the thumbnail, you looked, looked, I won't even say look close at it. You just had to look at it. You would know what I'm, you would see what I'm talking about. But let me move this heavy 3,000 count box out of the way. Grab box number two. And let's keep going. All right. We're almost getting to chrome territory. So much chrome. I own way too much chrome. I have a problem. But but it looks nice. So little matte lantern. Little plugging. Ahsoka's not real dad, but Ahsoka's dad. General Grievous. Excuse me, let me get a drink of water real quick. Not sponsored. Please do not pay attention to the label. I'm going to try and breeze through this section just because I would really like to get the chrome. And also with the camera acting the way it is, don't want to force you to have to just stare for us to have a staring contest while you try to look at my hands. So try and hold them up in front of my face. Talk about them. I suddenly have no idea what I should talk about. Wonderful Agent Callus. Let's talk about Agent Callus. I know there are some people who did not like the character. I understand why they disliked him or disliked what happened to him at the end of the series. I understand. I do not agree, but I understand. I just thought he had a really good character arc. I think... I'm not going to spoil anything for who, watched, who hasn't watched Rebels, even though I feel like it's been out a while, but now that I think it's on Disney Plus, I'll give people a chance to catch up with it. I don't want to just be like, so, but um, no, I just I really like how I, I just I liked how he turned out. I think he's cool. He's funny. His looks don't hurt him. This is cool. This is just an Ahsoka short print from uh, 
2018 master work. <coughs> Excuse me. As the video keeps going, everything keeps getting worse. The camera doesn't work. I keep coughing. Mm -hmm. I'm not funny any. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm a little funny, but I'm not as funny. But I was surprised that they didn't do short prints again for this year's masterwork. Just as I'm surprised on how cheap David Tennant autographs are now. I remember I saw one at auction out of Galactic Files out of 10 sell for over $500. And now I think on a masterwork you can get one. Very nice. Actually, on card. He, like, David Tennant touched it. Doctor Who touched it for like eighteen dollars. It's kind of ridiculous. It's almost like borderline offensive. <laughs> but I mean, I, I mean, I got one cheap. I can't complain too much. These are cool. I don't have too many of them. I don't think. Yeah, you can't really see it. But I don't have my phone either. They get a flashlight. But these are little film cell relics. I think they're a cool idea. I think they were executed much better in the two thousand seventeen masterwork than they were in the two thousand nineteen. They were just kind of. If you got one, you could get ones that were, like, this one's almost nicely cut. There were ones that was, like, some kid took, like, silly scissors and just went at it. I don't know. I still think they're cool. They're marked as one ones even though it's, like, because each one is actually a cutout of a film cell, but there's multiples of the card, even though there's not multiples of the film cell. <coughs> Although, you can probably get ones with the same film cells, but it's cut from a different reel, so I mean, it's like one of those eBay 101 things where it's like, oh, it's number 1 out of 25, eBay 101. It's like, yes, technically you're the only one numbered 1 out of 25, but there's still 25 of you. Now, do it again. I'm like, oh, look at the, look at the medallion. Here you go. But, I don't know. Like I said, Masterwork 720, I don't know if I mentioned it. I'm saying, like I said earlier, but... Master 2017 was actually the first like box that I bought. I bought two, and I know the medallions like really aren't you know aren't much. Medallions typically aren't much, but I thought they were really cool, and I wanted to put them in magnetics. Now I don't put med medallions in magnetics. I mean, I have this because it's a porg. I can't resist the porg, but in general, magnetics are not. In general, medallions are not particularly magnetic worthy. Well, it looks like we're getting into this last batch right here actually <coughs> excuse me is looks like uh, one leaf auto and then the rest of it is from the Marvel Fort Ragnarok set really cool Taika Waititi this technically could be an IG-11 autograph ooh. ooh next level I predicted it yeah that's why it's in my Star Wars box uh -huh. but the wonderful Draco Malfoy Oh, do you guys, do you guys sense a theme here? <laughs> hmm, maybe it's some kind of theme. These are cool. Just brush through real quick. Little costume relics. I don't believe. It's certified as having been a part of the production. So, they're probably just like source material, if I had to guess. But I, if they were worn, like I'm sure... If they were worn by Tom Hiddleston and Chris Hemsworth and Jeff Goldblum, I'm sure they would say worn. But it says involved in the production, so like maybe, I don't know. Who knows? It doesn't say what it is, who knows. Just like he, the relics out of the Last Jedi, not Last Jedi, excuse me, Rise of Skywalker Series 1. They say authentic. They're supposedly screen used. Not 100% sure. They don't say specifically on the card. I have, well, real quick, I have another stack of screen relics that didn't fit in my boxes initially, which is another reason for why I'm trying to put them all in one place. Because, yes, there were boxes scattered all over my house, but there are also just stacks of stuff all over my house. And I say all over my house, like, as a generalization. It wasn't really... I mean, you just find some boxes in different rooms and then a whole chunk of it on the dining room table, but... You know, it's not like I'm just... Oops, I stepped on a cart because I didn't know where it was. It's not like... It's not that big of a problem. Oh, this is cool. little Revenge of the Sith. Well, I mean, it could be other films, but... I would say Revenge of the Sith, Hugh McGregor. Revenge of the Sith. I don't know. Maybe there's some guy named Seth after me. Who knows? Revenge of the Sith. Uh, dual Relic. Hugh McGregor and Samuel L. Jackson. For Pop Century. So they can't say Star Wars on it, but obviously Star Wars is what they'd be going for, I would think. These are cool. 
I just thought these are neat. I like little acetate cards. I think this, I like, I like this guy. It's cute, right? Skyfall. I actually haven't seen Skyfall. I've seen bits of Casino Royale, but I bought this because he looks like one of my math teachers that I had in college that I really liked. I thought that was cool. And then one of my favorite TV shows. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I really like Hannibal. So, and it fits in the Star Wars box. Look, it's a Galen Erso acetate card. But um, I thought those were cool. And then, of course, as I said earlier, I have a little bit of CZX. I just have this. To my knowledge, and we opened some of it, so I didn't see, but I, there, were, there, were, there were no Scarecrow cards in the set except for this and then any sketch cards. It's like... Okay, but anyway. All right, now we're on to Chrome, I think. Let me check these piles. Yep, we're on to Chrome Rainbows. So let me just move real quick. I'm just going to be taking some of the stuff that I was attempting to rainbow and put them. Get my pile of calluses. Get my pile of battle droids. So. Oh, I did miss. I knew I should have pulled it out. One second. Let me go back to the other box. i got to grab that black chopper card that we passed over. So I can combine him. Where is the black? Where is All right, here he is, Black Chopper. Put him with nice little, not full rainbow, but I don't know, just like it. Okay, okay. Put them together. Put these first because Linus came out first. Chopper. Well, one thing I liked about Linus too is alphabetized, so I can just look at the card and be like, oh, well, it's, it's alphabetized. So I don't even have to look at the number. So here is my non-complete Callus rainbow, just missing the red one. Actually, let me show you the ones in top orders first. Very nice. And then the black ones are my super. Uh, put these away. And then the battle droids. Uh, put those together. Alright. Next set. Chrome. Chrome. It's chrome time. Chrome. Alright. I have three full of these boxes of chrome. There's a lot. I told you there's gonna be a lot. There's a lot. Yeet. As the kids say. So be a lot. Actually, I'm probably just gonna fan out top loaders and then separately I will show you. There's a lot of Padme. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is not the intended purpose of the cards. Please do not use your cards as fans, kids. Alright, what's next? This one. Look, battle droids. Just missing the orange. There was somebody locally who I was supposed to meet up for the orange, but that unfortunately hasn't happened yet. I don't know if it will. So I'm on the rock cow for orange. Let me check. Man, I'm gonna just sew the super. Show the super. I'm not gonna sew the super. Do not sew your cards together, please. That is not also that is also not the recommended use for cards. Okay, missing the orange on this one, and I'm also missing the red. I think I'm missing more reds than I'm missing supers, which I don't know. In the comments below, tell me if that's a good or a bad thing, because I feel like it's like wow, I have a lot of supers, and it's also like I have a lot of supers. So, um, let me know your thoughts. Or don't. It's up to you. I can't tell you what to do. Padme, which doesn't really look like her in this picture. I wonder if it was a stunt double or it's just like a weird, weird angle for Natalie Portman. Not sure. I don't care. It still looks great. This one I have a complete rainbow of, thankfully. Stunning. Beautiful. I love it. Amazing. And, if I remember correctly, they are number 1 of 10. 1 of 5. 1 of 1. Very nice. This one is near complete. This one I'm just missing the super. I'd love to get this one complete too. Obviously I'd love to get all of them, but there's some of them that carry more weight, I guess, than others. 
that I would like to have, if that makes sense. Like, there's some where it's like, well, if I had to pick which one I'd rather rainbow, I'd rather have, like, one of these. But, oh, there's just so many great scenes that I love from the prequels. Because I love Anakin, I love Padme, I love Obi-Wan. That if I saw it, I was like, ooh, I gotta have it. Whether that's a good idea for my bank account or not, I was like, I gotta have it. So, perhaps, let me guys know what you think, but perhaps when we get, when I figure out what's going on with this camera up here, perhaps I could just do a video on all my Chrome stuff by itself, and then you can see it better. Because I feel like when I'm going to edit the video, I'm going to be like, oh man, this kind of sucks. So, yeah. like I said, I'll try my best to figure out what went wrong. I think it's probably a matter of I should have just brought extra batteries, but hey, you live and learn. Thankfully, this isn't a break where it's like the video cuts out and people are like, that's kind of suspicious, but it still sucks. Maybe I'll figure out a way to hook up another camera and have it so I can see it right on this monitor here. Because originally I was using a webcam. And you can record with the webcam, but then it records. I wouldn't be able to do the snap me into the corner thing because I always have to keep myself in the corner. It doesn't record the videos like separately. I would also really love to rainbow this scene. If you know where the super is of this, please, please let me know. But perhaps that's what the problem is. And that might be a solution, but I'd have to tinker with it. And then see. See what I can do about it. This, unfortunately, I'd love to rainbow it, but I know it's not going to happen because I know where the super is and I don't have it. So, this is the wedding scene. I know where the super is, I don't have it. I also, I'm pretty sure I know where the red is that I saw that I didn't get the buy fast enough. It's probably with the super if I had to guess, but... So, unfortunately, I know this is a big red X in the not going to happen pile, but... If you're watching and you want to sell me the super, or you just not even you want to sell it to me, but you just want to sell in general, you want to get rid of it. No, I am right here. Titan cards and games 727 541 C A R D, which is 727 541 2273. It's our phone number. But, um, titancardsfl.com. Contact us, contact me there. We're actually friends on Facebook. You can message me on Facebook, please. All right, that's enough begging. It's enough making a fool of myself on camera when my camera doesn't work. But let's see, I like to think I'm kind of entertaining. If you think I'm entertaining, let me know. Or not. I take constructive criticism. I used to have three of these cards, three out of the five, just like I had for my finest battle droids. But a friend of mine is trying to make a full red set and a full black set of chrome, which is a big task. And he needed it. He didn't have one. I hoarded them all, and I was like, fine, you can have one. So, this one's a complete rainbow. I have specializing in Sith Lords, right before Anakin uh, cuts off Count Dooku's head. That's kid-friendly, right? This is a Y7 channel. Perhaps not. Super beautiful. Oh, we're on to the last box. That's a bit deceptive because, like, I, I do have I do have a little pile right here next to me, but I do believe everything will fit in the two three thousand count boxes. So at least, if nothing else, that's a win for today. That means I only have to store instead of like a billion of these. The bottom corner. Like instead of a billion of these, I just have two three thousand count boxes that are going to be moderately full, and I got to start putting them in these things again. But more chrome. 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 Yeah, but definitely do let me know because I feel like, you know, you might not be getting the full picture. You guys also may not be interested in chrome. Who knows? I like chrome. You guys may not. I can do a video specifically on all my chrome. Make a little shiny thumbnail. Bling bling thumbnail. Alright. I 
finally have the rainbow list. I was chasing the red one out of five. I had originally missed out on one. That is also where the original one I missed out on is where the wedding super is. Managed to get that one for me. And then I missed one that had sold on eBay because, I don't know, I was checking like every day, like every couple hours, like for Chrome religiously. And then I just, I don't know, I just kind of stopped. Not that I don't need, I didn't need this stuff anymore, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't searching. I think I got too distracted by um, trying to finish my 2019 uh, Masterwork Battle Droid collection. I was, trying, I was trying to get these, so I was looking for that instead, instead of Chrome. And it was also like around Thanksgiving, and I just, I don't know, I just stopped. So I missed that one there, but then I did find one. So I did find one, so it is full. Full as in complete. This is the first super I got out of the set. This is also... Fighting to hold on, Leia gave birth to beautiful twins whom she named Luke and Leia. I don't remember that from Revenge of the Sith. Very interesting. I didn't realize Leia gave birth to Leia. Silly tops. But spirit Ghost Anakin. Also Spirit Ghost Anakin. And then... I'm not quite sure why I decided the rainbow this. I think I just like the cards, the way they looked. Although I know there are a ton of Ray collectors. I like Ray. I don't like Ray that much to start fighting people over like Ray cards. Ray Ray one ones can get super expensive. Like even like I remember seeing the auction for. I mean they are one ones, but they're like tops. Would get your fake one one blank back cards out of here. It's like you made that. I mean obviously they make all the cards, but it's like I don't know. I don't, I don't buy those. I mean, they're cool, but I don't know. They're not for, They're not my thing. If you like them, more power to you. Yeah, an extra one-on-one that I will have. But, I don't know. But I think both the Masterwork Base Ray one-on-one and the Rise of Skywalker Series 1 one-on-one blank backs, they went for like 560 bucks a piece or something ridiculous. It's like, I like Ray. Ray's really cool. I don't like Ray that much. Even... Padme, I'd be hard pressed to pay for. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay for a blank back. But I say, oh, I wouldn't pay that much for a Padme one on one. It's like I'm looking at a six hundred dollar sketch here in the corner. It's like, Ew. all right, call me a liar, flame me in chat, a chat that we don't have because this isn't live. All right, um, what next? All right, so oh, this is also Chrome. This is almost a rainbow, but not quite, of the Battle Droid medallion. Wow, what a surprise. Could you guys have guessed that I like Battle Droids? Or that I would want to collect the Battle Droid medallion? Red. And then just missing the 101. So close. These, actually, are also... Might want to go resort these back into the other box, so they're with... With the other black chromes that I'm not rainbowing. And then... Next up, let's have Masterwork Battle Droids, which, so the base, base, blue, green, purple. The colors were a bit hard to see, I noticed in the camera, so I flipped them. I actually have two out of the ten, because I had seen one, and I bought it. And then, after I bought the one, another one was listed for half the price or best offer of what I had paid for the first one. So I was like, corner the market, I guess, make myself feel better about overspending, I guess. So, close to finishing actually this rainbow, like super rainbow. I have two of the plates. All I'm missing actually are the two other plates, the black and the magenta plate, and then also the gold one one. So hopefully those will pop up and I can get them for a pretty good deal. So I actually managed to get those cards for a pretty good deal. Which is weird because I guess the big collectors this year weren't out for Masterwork. Masterwork one ones are usually stupid, but this year they weren't. Alright, let me just go quickly over my Dio collection. I have one plate, but like one rare card. And then, generic, generic, generic. These are pretty cool. I like the colors. I thankfully have been able to trade for the Red Walmart exclusives. If you are on the Facebook group, you have seen me crying about how I opened 44, a total of, I, well, I personally opened 24, and I managed to convince my boss to buy Tony to open for the shop. So I opened, I physically opened 44 Walmart blasters, it did not get a base red DO or an insert red DO. I feel like I can't complain because I ended up, I did get a Zori Bliss costume relic out of 25 and a Black Sith TIE Fighter 101, but it's like, that's not what I want. So, I definitely did well on the product. 
It's just like, I open 44 boxes and I can't get a deal. He said no thank you to me. And it hurt me deeply. His rejection of me cut very deep. So, last but not least, these obviously aren't the big sketches, but these are beautiful nonetheless, and they're also out of order. All right, stellar, 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 stellar. All these four stellar cards are out of, oh, you guessed it, stellar signatures. Not lying when they say stellar artwork. All the art in this set was done by Dan Bergen last year. Well, th let me start. This year, they're on 5x7s. Last year, they had 50 by Chris Penix and 50 by Carlos Caballo. And they were, like, regular sketch size, but this year they are oversized. And let me tell you, they are gorgeous. And I am very thankful to have maybe the crown jewel of my collection, Padme. It looks amazing in person. Like, I feel like this picture doesn't do it justice. I feel like I keep trying to take pictures of it, and it just... It can't compare to what you see in person. There's so many fine details that it's just, it's mind blowing. Again, it's like I'm holding Natalie Portman in my hands, but all right. Like I said, I'm very sorry about this camera crapping out. Although I'm glad I did decide to record the audio separately because this was recording audio. And if I didn't have it, you wouldn't be here. You just see my mouth move and it's like probably be less annoying for you, but then I couldn't explain anything or complain about anything or boast about anything and you know you wouldn't hear it but so anyway that's what i have here you can hear the magnetic shuffling around that's what i have today thank you for watching if you made it that far i really appreciate it let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you want me to show off again or just i don't know you have questions like why did you buy that or like why do you like this character so much you're like what do you do with all these cards? It's like, yeah, I just look at them. They look cool. <laughs> I don't really do anything. That's the thing also, too. We work at a card shop, and it's... Like I said in the instruction video, it's non-sports, sports, and also trading card games. So it's a very a bit of a disconnect between, like, trading card players and, like, sports collectors. Because, like, I'll be looking at my Star Wars cards, and they're like... You know, people who play Magic be like, oh, that's cool. What does it do? And it's like, it doesn't do anything. It just looks cool. And they're like... Okay. But... Anyway... Thank you for watching the video. If you did like it, please hit that like button. If you're interested in seeing more from me or just, I don't know, you think I'm pretty and you want me to succeed, just hit the subscribe button. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.